Yesterday, Nginx, the popular web server software, was hit with a critical 9.8 severity vulnerability that allows full unauthenticated remote code execution. This is bad because most modern container clusters run on Kubernetes, which often has Nginx sitting in front to protect it. Based on analysis from Wiz.io, this vulnerability affects 43% of cloud environments and over 6,500 clusters, putting them at immediate risk. And today, we will dive into how the vulnerability works and why you should have patched this like a week ago. You are watching Dark Web Academy's Vulnerability Watch. Nginx is a fancy web service tool that manages your traffic, and this vulnerability specifically affects Ingress Nginx, a popular tool that controls Ingress and has over 18,000 stars on GitHub. Ingress Nginx acts like a bouncer at your Kubernetes club, managing and filtering incoming traffic, but it turns out this bouncer might be getting a bit too friendly with the wrong crowd. A deep dive by Wiz has uncovered a vulnerability that arises from the way Ingress Nginx handles certain requests, headers, and routes traffic. Essentially, an attacker can craft specific requests that slip past your defenses. By convincing the bouncer at your Kubernetes club that you actually belong and your fake ID is definitely real, you swear. Before we dig any deeper into the vulnerability itself, let's take a quick high-level look at how Nginx and Kubernetes clusters work. Nginx is a versatile web server known for its speed and efficiency. At its core, it handles HTTP requests, serves static content, and acts as a reverse proxy. This means it can receive external requests and route them to the appropriate backend services, balancing the load across servers. Super useful. When Ingress Nginx is deployed in a Kubernetes environment, it becomes a primary gateway into your cluster managing and securing the flow of traffic into various containerized applications. Now think of Kubernetes cluster as a network of interconnected servers or nodes that run containerized applications. Kubernetes orchestrates these containers, ensuring they're deployed, scaled, and managed efficiently. It takes care of load balancing, service discovery, and even self-healing if something goes wrong. The Ingress controller, like Ingress Nginx, is a critical entry point where the external traffic meets your cluster's internal network. If that gateway is compromised, an attacker could potentially access everything behind it, including sensitive secrets and critical workloads. Now here's where the vulnerability comes in. Normally when a request hits Ingress Nginx, it validates and sanitizes everything before passing it onto your applications. But this vulnerability exploits a flaw in that process. By manipulating request headers, an attacker could potentially bypass security controls and gain elevated privileges or even direct access into your cluster's inner sanctum. Now, it doesn't immediately give an attacker full control, but the ability to execute arbitrary code means access to all cluster secrets in the entire environment. This can easily lead to a full cluster takeover. You can see if you're exposed by checking your cluster directly using this helpful command, but you'll definitely need a game plan for patching your digital fortress. First, you need to check your Ingress Nginx version and upgrade to the latest patch immediately. You should also probably check logs for any evidence of prior attacks during this exposure. This vulnerability isn't just a bug in the system, it's a wake-up call reminding us that even our most battle-hardened security tools are infallible. It's crucial to continuously question, verify, and update your defenses. In a world where digital threats are constantly evolving, staying curious and informed is key. If this deep dive sparked your curiosity or helped you rethink your approach to security, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights. And if you have any thoughts or questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm always up for a good digital debate. For those who want the nitty gritty details, check out the Wiz blog post linked in the description. It's a great resource for understanding exactly how this vulnerability operates and what you can do to safeguard your environment. Thanks for joining me today. Stay curious, stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next video.